going on, Jerome's NFL teams are now just in, in a race to try and build these beautiful, amazing stadiums, multi-billions worth of dollars. They're just trying to have the fan day experience. They got five-star restaurants. They got all these craft bars. They have all this stuff, and they have giant jumbo screens. Like, Oh, hey, this is almost as good as watching at home on TV. Stuff like that, right? But, of course, everyone is just chasing the dragon of trying to build their own historic U.S. Bank Stadium. Like SoFi Stadium out in L.A., I mean, it's fine, but they never have a home field advantage. Uh, the, you have Legion uh, Stadium in Las Vegas with the Raiders, eh, whatever, of course, Jerry World. But the, the, it's hard. It, it's hard to just replicate this. The Vikings do have the best stadium in the National Football League. We have the best fans in the league, uh, and we have the best home field advantage. That's it. Other than that, what do we have? I don't know. I, I don't know. But the Tennessee Titans, as well as the Buffalo Bills, uh, that released renderings uh, of their proposed stadiums, and they look pretty good. I, I'm not going to lie. So I, I know it's very in fashion and in vogue on uh, the, the interwebs to just roast everything, but I think both of these look pretty good, especially the Bills one. But starting with the Titans, uh, so you, you got the Plaza. Welcome to the Plaza. There you go. And then inside the stadium, ooh, Looks it looks like the chandelier bar at, at Cosmo. That's right, man. Also, I think it's funny how they have uh, Derrick Henry up on the video boards. Like, bro, Derrick Henry's gonna be retired by for seven years by the time this stadium gets completed. Uh, there you go. And th they are in an older, decrepit stadium, which was built right after they moved from Houston. And they used to be the Oilers. Also, it's good that the they labeled it Tennessee just in case. It's like, oh, we got to the Titans game. Are we in New Mexico? It's good to know. Uh, but I I don't know. Uh, like this shot. It, it kind of just makes it look like every shopping mall, like a, a, every, well, there's a lot of new shopping malls because shopping malls are going out of uh, style as well. But I don't know. Like I, I feel like this looks, this does look pretty good. I, I feel like it fits in with like, the Nouveau South uh, aesthetic, uh, you know, that Nashville uh, l likes to have. And I, I, overall, I, I mean, I think it looks pretty nice. I mean, this looks exactly like the Raiders stadium, by the way. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, what also, hey, we need the giant jumbotron in the center, man. No one. Hey, hey, plebeians, crane your neck like this if you want to see the highlights. Yeah. You're, or hey, hey, don't focus on the football on the field. Oh, the, this looks pretty sweet. But uh, we, we did see the memes like, oh, the Titans released renders of their new two billion dollar stadium, and it's a giant top golf. <laughs> I mean, it does look pretty damn sweet though. I, I think it looks pretty good. But the piece they were dis on. Uh, Peace de resistance is the Buffalo Bill Stadium. I mean, because this one, this one looks fantastic, man. So you got the giant jelly bean thing. You know, it's looking like the you know the millennial bean in in, in Chicago. Uh, that's the look of uh, stadiums nowadays because you like motion and movement and all that stuff in, in uh, modern architecture. Also, you got the translucent panels uh, trying to is like, oh, we want to kill some birds too. Woo! And and then the bills. Oh, well. First off. You could never have an indoor stadium in Buffalo. You, you just cannot. Like, not even a retractable roof. Because the whole thing about Buffalo, its charm, is that cold winter. And also, so Buffalo is weird uh, with, with Lake Erie right there. It, like, half of the city gets a ton of snow and half of it not, not, not so much. It's, a, it's actually kind of hilarious. Uh, but, yeah, I mean... The Bills, I mean, the Bills are going to be good for the next stretch, right? As long as Josh Allen is at the helm, uh, et cetera. But they they need, uh, yeah, they need the outdoor stadium. Uh, and I mean, Bills Mafia. I mean, re respect. Bills Mafia is one of the best fan bases, one of the most loyal fan bases uh, in the National Football League. Of course, we we commiserate 0 and 4, 0 and 4. Hey, so as soon as the Vikings and the Bills, hey, uh, Week 10 Super Bowl preview, then we meet in the Super Bowl. 0 and 8, ain't it great? Something's got to give. It's, it's not like they can tie or one team wins. It's like, oh, here comes the meteorite. There you go. But that, that's a damn good looking stadium. But like I said, they're all just sucking hind teeth. Uh, they, they're they're chasing the dragon. Like They, they want to get all of this. They want to get all of this. It, it's just, it's a beautiful freaking stadium, man. I, I I love historic U.S. Bank, Sam. That's right. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, the Bills, as well as the Tennessee Titans, uh, trying to get in the stadium game, uh, re revealing their designs for their new $2 billion monstrosities. Woo. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more, the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>